Hello everyone, Fire and Further here, and today I want to talk about a little bit of a surprise purchase. Um, this is a carbon fiber Kevlar bash plate for 10R700, and it's made by a Polish company, 3D Moto. And the story behind this is actually quite cool because I met uh, Wojciech in Lur when he was going through Albania on his tenere uh, where he was testing this product. And uh, we were kind of chatting, having a few beers. And then he said, I mean, like, you know, if you want to try it on the rallies, um, I'm happy to give you a good price and you can test it for us. And I'm like, well, I'm going to break this thing in a minute. And he was like, well, I don't think so. It's wonderfully made, to be honest. He made a few changes from the version which I saw in Albania. So the, the bash plate is actually thicker and uh, there's more layers of carbon and a Kevlar in this version, this production version. It is very reasonably priced for what it is. I'm really, really curious if I break it. I think I will break it. <laughs> he, Wojciech thinks that I'm not going to break it. I mean, it is really, really strong. To be honest, um, it's going to be quite interesting. So this is a Tenere in the box for now. I'm going to do a little tiny rally. We're going to install this for the rally and give it a bash for the first time. And then it goes to the Africa with me. One thing I'm worried about is that um, this piece is going to be in the way of um, Outback Mototech crash bars. But let's see. I think I kind of know why rallies are ridden not in the winter. I'm at Pak Moto and uh, the Tenere needs to be put together for tomorrow rally and installing the bash plate. The Yamaha bash plate is off and to be honest it's such a beaten up bash plate. Two generic rallies on this one so I'm not entirely sure if this carbon fiber is gonna be as strong as this thing. And the bash plate's on. Uh, it was a little bit of a fight. We had to cut this off and that off uh, because of Outback Mototech crash bars. Uh, but other than that, it holds. We have a tenor team. Let's see how far we get. Ha! Back from the rally, no dramas there, apart from a few falls here and there, and uh, obviously the bash plate uh, did it absolutely fine. No damage, no scratches, nothing like that. There were no really stones, it's just a few icy paddles and all that kind of stuff. Um, and if I fall, I fall on the crash bars rather than on the bash plate. So, uh, not the real test. Um, I had to do some more modifications. Um, one is here around the gear shifter. I had to create uh, some space for uh, shifting um, and also probably connected with that uh, my um, down pipes in the front were touching the plate uh, which I didn't like so I had to put some spaces here and there. Um, I'm in contact with the 3D motor uh, it seems that the bike is a little bit special um, so apart from the Outback Motor Tech um, which I had to adjust even the Yamaha one um, I had to do this and I think uh, they will be looking into that. So yeah, um, the real test is going to come um, this year. Um, it's going to be Albania, it's going to be Balkans again. And very soon, fingers crossed, it's going to be Sahara again. So there um, in Sahara, you have a lot of rocks, sharp rocks, because it's usually lava. So it's not just the sand. So I hope I'm going to give it a really, really good test there. And I actually quite like it it looks nice what I like also is that um, because it's a taller bash plate than I had before it does uh, keep mud off the bash plate the bottom of the bash plate and the pipes and I think that is pretty cool 
Yeah, so let's see how it holds in Africa. And um, I'm gonna post updates, definitely. <laughs> let's go.